right, let's have a look at this lovely rose bush. So you can see it's quite tall. It's probably uh, at the tallest there, about two and a half meters tall. So it's quite a tall shrub. Uh, this one's kind of arching shaped and it's in this sort of semi-open, semi-covered shaded area. And if we get closer and look at it, we can see that it's quite distinctly a rose. And you'll notice that the roses are held singly, so there isn't a cluster of a bunch of roses all at one end. And that's an important feature to notice. Uh, the flowers themselves are quite large, which is again distinctive of this particular kind of rose. And you can see underneath the leaflets, there's these paired prickles. So not every single one has them, but it's always under a leaflet and they're often in pairs like that. So that's a distinctive trait. Uh, the number of leaflets is variable. There's usually, I think, between five and nine. Uh, usually seven is the common. And they're fairly large leaflets uh, with a toothed edge. But so if we're trying to compare this rose, uh, Rosa nutcana, Nuka rose, to other roses. The bald hip rose, or other native rose in this area, um, it loses the sepals. That's where it gets its name, bald hip. And it also has many, many prickles all over the stem. And it's not quite as tall as this. It's a little bit more smaller, a little bit more spindly. And you can see this is a quite vigorous and healthy shrub. 